We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Her first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. It's true. Ghost towns are pretty damn creepy. Well, ghost towns, most ghost towns. And Mass Effect, not so much. I think that might be a flaw of map design more than anything else. Well, that was definitely really stupid of me. Sitting there waiting for me. Attack on site. We're not alone here. But you said there weren't going to be any survivors. System sabotage detected. I wonder if I can see in there. Nah, not really. I never bothered to look in there before. Stop right there! Brother, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait! Shepard! I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. If Vitor survived the attack, he may be able to tell us what happened. That's... The hope. We've seen him, but he might not be in the best state to answer questions. He was injured and uh, nervous around. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his soot CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find them. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Make sure to keep in radio contact. 
Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Tali became a badass in two years. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. That's the warning. We'll take care of them. Alright, well, while I do this... Oh. Thank you. Yes. While I do this, um, I am going to be taking suggestions for party members. So, uh, I will, uh, as soon as they give me the dossiers, I will tell you who's available, who I can get next. Um, and drop a comment on who you want me to get next. And, uh, in the future, whenever I go to recruit somebody or do a mission, you can tell me who you think would be a good, uh, party member to have, Not or who you would like to see me. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Uh, who you'd like to see me take on various missions? So, uh, whenever a mission ends, you want to drop a comment in that video? I will stop after every mission and uh, wait at least a week before doing the next one. Probably more like two. Have a nice trip. Got it. If nobody actually uh, votes, then I'll be using whichever whichever characters I like the best. But I'll they did want to get to Vito first. I will try to uh, keep a variety, though. For the record, they were kind of dumb, and I don't feel bad for most of them for being dumb. So I do feel bad for this girl right here because this is really kind of brutal. The rest of them get what they deserved. She kind of got what she deserved too, but I still feel bad about it. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is going to be one tough son of a bitch to take down. You say oh, that like it's really shield. actually going to be <clears throat> difficult. Look at that, already got rid of his shields. Try to overload their shields. Move. <clears throat> Move. <clears throat> Will you stop standing directly in front of it like a stupid person? Warp this heavy armor to weaken it. Here we go. Right. Attacking heavy mech. Did you fall down twice? Did he seriously die? I've got him. Okay, well, he's an immortal mech. Gravity's one mean mother, huh? That mech tore our unit apart, Shepard. I have to stay here to take care of the wound. Get over here. What the? 
the hell? Jacob, how did you get up there? I can't actually progress. Come on, man. I broke the game. We can use this. That one hit. <laughs> well, uh, that's that's good to know. Wait, wait, wait! Everybody's reloading. Oh, we. It can't do anything because it's officially dead. All right, well. Uh, I don't even know. I can do that too. <gasps> it actually exploded this time. All right. We can use this. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. I thought the collectors kept it themselves. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of them, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings, electromagnetic, dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. 
Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. Breaking my heart, Tally. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Well, if you'd play nice in the first place, people wouldn't perceive you as a threat now, would they? Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. The Collectors are definitely a human enemy. But how do we know there's a connection to the Reapers? Their focus shifted to humanity only after you and the human fleet destroyed Sovereign. The abductions are related, even if the Alliance and the Council refuse to believe it. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. All right. Well, I know what what's up with Tally for the most part. So. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. I would trust Liara with my life. Where's Garrus Vakari? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Caden Olenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Good for him. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Severus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, 
And there's this. They only told me last night. By the way, this cutscene, hilarious with no sound. Mostly because it's so long, you're just kind of sitting there in silence. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Those scars have got to itch. Alright, now that should really be, I mean, that, that scene with the ship leaving would be a great place to leave off, but I uh, actually have a, something else that's going to happen before I can manually save, uh, as well as I need to go through the dossiers and let you know who you can pick from. So cutscenes ahoy. Aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. You still don't get it, do you? You're not in charge of this mission. I am. Operative Lawson makes a valid point, Shepard. Without the Professor, any encounter with the Collectors would result in failure. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis in the past. Nothing more. Now that we've got that sorted out, let's move on to these dossiers. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Okay, that's how we go places. That's how I read my email. That's for in between sessions when the camera's not rolling. That's an elevator. I already did that. And I can't use that until I get Morden. Okay. Welcome aboard. Commander. Hello, Yaman Chambers. So let's read my email real quick. Alright, Cap. Sorry, Counselor Anderson would like to meet me on the Citadel. And 
that is my DLC Kasumi Goto. Alright. So, we'll go through here and journal. Okay, so the Master Thief, Kasumi Goto. Uh, she's DLC, she's good at technology, uh, which will be useful sometimes. She's got, I don't know, one really useful skill, uh, but she's a really fun character, and her personality is kind of cool. And she's a thief, uh, and her mission is kind of uh, enjoyable. Um, that's the council. Uh, the professor is Morden, obviously. Um, he, he's only got, like, pistols, I think. He might have SMGs, I don't remember. Uh, but he's got some cool, like, uh, biotic stuff. He shoots flames and whatever. And he's a Solarian, and he talks really fast. Uh, and the Warlord is Dr. Okir. He's a Krogan. And, uh... His mission has us fighting other Krogans. Uh, pretty decent character uh, overall. I like him. Uh, then we have Archangel, who does not have a regular name. He's just Archangel. Uh, he's a sniper and an assault rifle guy. He's a good kind of all-around uh, character to just throw in. If you don't need anything special, he'll probably be decent for my team since I'm biotic. But he's a very good soldier type class, and I uh, I can get him in the same place that I can get uh, Morden. Uh, and then we have the convict, whose name is Jack, or a uh, subject zero, depending on who you ask. And we get her on a prison ship, and she's a powerful biotic. She's essentially me without the biotic charge, and she likes shotguns. Um, and I will show you in just a sec where we can go actually to get her, or to get them. Alright, so we have Omega, which is like a... It's a space station that revolves around a uh, club like a nightclub and that's where you can get Archangel and Morden and if we come here up here is where we go to the prison ship to get the convict over here is where we go to get the Krogan down here on the Citadel is where we go see Anderson and get Kasumi and oh wait that's it <laughs> so that's one two three four five okay it's five characters we can get right off the bat so uh, drop a comment, let me know which one you would prefer, in, or, or what order you would like me to get them in, maybe. Uh, and that'll be, uh, that'll be it for me.